Solomon was a mighty, mighty king. A mighty, mighty king was he. The queen of Sheba came to town with her long caravan just to see what she could see. And when she looked around, she saw his wisdom, his might, and his majesty. She said, I couldn't imagine such a mighty, mighty king. A mighty, mighty king was me. No, the half was not told to me. No, the half was not told to me. Solomon was a mighty, mighty king. A mighty, mighty king was he. I couldn't imagine such a mighty, mighty king. The half was not told to me. Solomon was a mighty, mighty king. A mighty, mighty king was he. Jesus Christ is a mighty, mighty king. A mighty, mighty king is he. Greater than Solomon or any other king, he's the greatest in history. No one can ever describe him, his wisdom, might, and majesty. Can't imagine such a mighty, mighty king, a mighty, mighty king is he. No, the half was not told to me. No, the half was not told to me. Jesus Christ is the mighty, mighty king. The half was not told to me. I can't imagine such a mighty, mighty king. The half was not told to me. Jesus is a mighty, mighty king. A mighty, mighty king is he. Jesus is a mighty, mighty king. A mighty, mighty king is he. A mighty, mighty king, Jesus, greater than Solomon. During his earthly ministry, there were those who tried and questioned him and tested him. And Jesus was very plain in saying that before Abraham was, he was. And he used the title of God. He said, I am. Before Abraham was, I am. And he was not bashful about declaring who he was. His mission is to come into the world to seek and to save that which is lost, to save us from our sins and then after dying on the cross and being buried and rising from the dead to come back one day and to rule and to reign, he's a mighty, mighty king. In Revelation and chapter number five and verse number 12, we have uh, that heavenly, heavenly acclamation, a loud voice, worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. He is deserving of all of that. Greater than Solomon, the greatest king on earth, greater than any other world ruler, Jesus Christ is a mighty, mighty king because of who he is and what he has done for us that no one else could ever possibly do. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for that tremendous truth that Jesus Christ is greater than all. And today we come to you, Lord. We come to Jesus and we ask for your help in our challenges in life. And we ask for those that might not be saved to come to you as well. With heads bowed and eyes closed, if you've never been saved, then you can be saved right now the Bible way. If you call on the name of the Lord, just pray something like this from your heart and mean it. Dear God, I admit that I'm a sinner. I need a Savior. And right now I receive Christ as my personal Savior. Please take away my sins and take me to heaven when I die. If you prayed that prayer, won't you let us know? We'd love to rejoice with you and help you in your Christian growth and life. And right now, if you're winning souls, we'd love to hear from you. We just love to talk with soul winners and encourage you as you encourage us. And right now, let's pray. Father, we thank you. We can depend on Jesus no matter what. He's going to take us through because he is a mighty, mighty king. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. And just like... The Queen of Sheba said, I couldn't imagine such a mighty, mighty king. No, the half was not told to me. Jesus Christ is a mighty, mighty king. A mighty, mighty king is he. God bless you today. You are listening to From the Shepherd to the Sheep Daily Devotionals. This is a ministry of Central Baptist Church in Woodbridge, Virginia. 
If you would like to learn more about our ministries, you can find us online at cbcwoodbridge.org. You will also find many other helpful resources there, including preaching, devotionals, and songs. We thank you for listening to this devotional from the shepherd to the sheep.